Welcome to Cream Puff Apologizes. <clears throat> so I reviewed all of the footage, and this was well after I'd recorded it, because I recorded like four episodes in one day. Oh, hang on, hang on. This is serious. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, that's my deaths appear on my head. I don't know why. Right. <clears throat> I went through, I recorded all of this, all of the footage of the last four episodes in one day. And I hadn't noticed that the uh, the footage was all, all weird and choppy until obviously after I'd recorded it. And I can't go back. And also, as far as I know, there's no way to fix it. Um, it all came down and this, you can skip forward this bit. It's going to be slightly boring. But OBS, which I usually use to record, for some reason can't won't capture Minecraft anymore. So I had to use Display Capture, which I forgot had issues with Minecraft. So, <clears throat> on that note, I am now on Shadowplay, which is uh, NVIDIA's version of, you know, OBS kind of thing. And it seems to work, but now I've gone back and listened and it sounds like my audio is not very good. So my microphone's kind of, um, on S sounds, it sounds like, um, what's, what's the word? Kind of sounds distorted. So I don't know what's going on there. I think it might be an issue with my microphone, which, if it's true, really sucks because it's like eight months old, so I have to get it replaced, which I'm not so happy about. <clears throat> All of that being out of the way, welcome back to Cream Puff Plays Modern Skyblock 2. Uh, we ended the last episode by working with this. We had put the lead alchemical ore dust in here and nothing had happened. Now, what I think... That's not what I wanted. What I think this does, so <clears throat> in the condenser, crystal fluid, one alchemical ore dust gives you one lead ingot. Now, that's... It seems to be the way it works, and I thought I had it working, but I think I put the ore dust in before the fluid had come down. So if I put this in here, we can see this fuzzes and buzzes and sizzles and stuff, and then if we look... This is kind of going up and up, but this is going down. And I, th well, we have 100% efficiency, which I find confusing. So you notice that goes down. So I think I need to put two in. So it seems like we get one ingot for every two lead dust at 100% efficiency, which sounds not that efficient to me. Um, and I'll put the last one in just in case. Actually, no, I'll take it out because I'm convinced this will work. And if you leave it, so I've wasted quite a bit of ore dust. But this will finish up. Bink and bam, we have a lead ingot. So if I get that, we should finish this quest. Thank you very much. Claim you. <clears throat> and we can move on to the iron. Which is, if I remember properly, Urson. Urson. Iron, I'm pretty sure it's like blaze powder and zombie flesh. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll look up our chemical. That would be a better idea. So, apologies if my audio is weird on this one. Um, I know, it's blaze powder. Yeah, blaze powder and rotten flesh. So, I'm pretty sure I do have some rotten flesh. How much do I need? What's the, what's the ratio? One rotten flesh to do two blaze powder. I think I'm out of blaze powder. But I'm not out of rotten flesh. Uh, so, we need to make... Nope, I've got blaze powder. So, two rotten flesh to two blaze powder. Uh... One, two, rotten flesh. One, two, blaze powder. One, two, one, two. One. Okay, so it should be six to one. So this should make quite a bit. <clears throat> so once we have our chemical iron, or once we have the dust, we can make the ores. Once we make the ores, we can make this, which is iron and blaze, which gives you this. That means we can use the secundus, which the catalyst yield is 175%, which means we're guaranteed one... Um, we guaranteed one dust for everything, but for every two, we actually get two and a half. Uh, so every three, we're kind of getting four, essentially. Uh, and then we can get up to this 2,000% for quarters. So what's that? Two emeralds, nether brick alchemy component. Ah, okay, so <clears throat> if you look in here, we should have some of the dust. That still has the fluid in it, so we'll chuck those in there. We'll see this seems... More efficient, I think. I reckon we'll probably get one out of one, which is very, very good. Um, my understanding actually is copper is super efficient. Uh, and we get a little bit more than one actually out of one, so that's not too bad. And we get some iron, update it, claim you as well, and we can start on our road. So, seeds, we have to make all of these seeds. So, we're going to do that today. 
as well. Get review, get rid of me buckets. Thank you, I'll take that. Another ore. So, <clears throat> we're finally in the age of metal, which is very, very cool. Um, but the other thing we're going to do today, so I wanted to get that done. I wanted to show you that getting done. Um, I'm going to open up these loot bags, because I've got a couple of them. Loot chests, bing, water bucket. <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Super, super handy. Ah. Interesting. So a bowl works like it. Okay, so a bowl wor works like a bucket for a short period of time. Uh, okay, well, whatever. I've got an infinite water source. I have no need for you. So we'll put the bowl away. Uh, got bowls in here? No. Nah. Just go in there for now. Next one. Polisher. I have enough polishers to polish the universe at this point. And final one. Whole heap of crap. Um, seems like the loot drops in this are poor. Very poor. I'll put my pirate hat back on. Um, I tend to always get the same stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, what we are going to do today... Boop, let's put you down there. What we're going to do is... <coughs> pardon me, is we're going to get this up and running. We're going to make a proper classic mob spawner. Um, I don't really think we need ender pearls for a while. Let's just have a look. Ender pearls. Recipes for ender pearls. Uh, we can make it out of nebulous hearts. Um, Cryothium. It's getting a bit much. Analyzing chamber. Flawless calculator. Mm, okay. B produce, blood infuser, carpenter matter infusion. Um, okay, so we can't... Do we get up to the end of an essence? We can't really make them. The only thing I'm worried... It's one of the drops used for crafting. It's dropped from Enderman. The only thing I'm worried about is that my farm that I'm going to make will just be a whole heap of mobs dropped down. Uh, but it's going to be uh, water-based, which obviously doesn't work with... Um, doesn't work with Enderman, or this particular mob farm doesn't work with spiders either. So I have to figure out how we're going to get that to work. Uh, but let's just start farming up some of this. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> um, yes, and we will fluffy puff seeds. Brilliant. Uh, we're going to make our way through here. So we're going to make a freezer, and we'll start working our way down through here. Look at these Vesquils mods. So morphing tool, psi metal. Oh, that's the psi gun. Oof, I've seen that one before. That's a bit insane. Cyclops mods, old school drying and squeezing. Interesting. Structured crafting. By putting blocks of... Oh, okay. So this is like an auto crafter with a... But all it sounds like all it needs is a redstone signal. Ancient magic mods. So this goes down into embers. These look very cool. Very, very cool. I would like to get into this. And then Mystical Crops, uh, which we will be getting into once we um, build up what we need to do. So, <clears throat> in terms of what this place is going to look like, I've been having some thoughts. So, we've obviously got our downwards, downward area down here. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to try and make this tiered. So, this is going to be kind of a center. So, eventually, this will be like a little bit of a fountain. We'll have a path that goes around it. They'll have kind of spokes that come off and up. So, we'll have ones that go up and down and around. That's my plan. Some islands off in the distance. That's what I'd really like to see. So, that's what I'm going to work on. But... For now, I'm going to build a mob spawner and uh, hopefully start getting those drops, which would be great. And I'll use my wooden spikes. Uh, I might even make some non-wooden spikes. Yeah, some, uh, what's the stone spikes? Would probably be a good idea, I would imagine. All right, I'll come back with you when I've made those things. Things have changed, as you'll probably notice. Uh, I'll run through them bit by bit. So first here is the new mob spawner. So the mobs spawn up there. They get pushed by water down here and then fall into here. Uh, I have... Uh, it's very loud over there. I might just turn that down a smidge. I'll start creatures. You can be a bit quieter. Um, I put these wooden spikes here. I put the stone ones. Stone ones just killed them. 
which wasn't what I wanted because uh, if they're dying, it means they're not dropping as much things, as many things, as many things. Um, the thing about one point uh, of this mod pack is there are quite a few drops that you can only get from um, actually killing the enemy yourself. Um, so these wooden spikes take them down to half a heart and then you can just do this and as you can see we're getting plenty of stuff and anytime you get too annoyed you just let one of the creepers go off and it'll kill a whole heap. So we're getting lots and lots of drops now. Uh, eventually we'll get to the point where we can add some efficient way to actually collect these drops because as it turns out two by two means I can't get the drops that are at the back which is kind of irritating so I can just jump in here do this which is what I've been doing currently until creepers go off and then kill me and then I have to try and figure all this out again which is a pretty regular occurrence and I have just realized that the wooden spike that I was using has disappeared Oh no, there it is. Okay, so let's just get rid of this rib bone and this, and then we'll put that down again. So that's that's uh, <clears throat> part number one. Uh, part number two is I ripped down this, and I've put in a little um, kind of water area. I'm gonna I'm gonna extend it, and I'll start making grass here. So what I thought I'd do is I'll make paths off that way, and I'll just send a line of dirt down there. Um, this water thing, it's a cold watering can actually makes the grass uh, grow quite quickly. So we got this done quite quickly. Um, yes, so that's what we've been doing. It doesn't seem like a lot, but this took me about an hour and a half to make all up. Uh, so, yes. What I wanted to show you here, if I do this right, let's see, if I put sand here and I put plant matter here, I made some more alchemical dust, and what I get is dirt. It uses quite a lot of plant matter, which is the only downside uh, but uh, I thought I had a whole heap somewhere apparently I've used it all um, so we need to build build we need to make some trees hopefully if I put one here I'm just, if only, I've got four plant metal left which means I can just take you and I'll use that as uh, but it means we finally have a method of getting um dirt that does not require us to uh, combust anything. So I'm very, very happy about that. I just need the shears, clay shears. I'll leave you in there. Ha, which is really, 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 really good. Uh, so our plan of attack from this point is I'll make myself a bow because that would be horribly handy. Uh, our plan of attack from this point onwards will be to <clears throat> finish off some of these quests. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. I get a lot of drops now, um, as you can probably see. And I just spent some time making this. So what I thought is, let's make some ingots. The next is tin. Tin alchemical dust. Uh, let's have a look. Tin. What do we need for Tin. It's a bone and blaze powder in the catalyst. So we put some blaze powder, we put some bones, and we take away the sand, and we take away the dirt. And that should get us some tin. Badink. I'll make two of those, and then I'll make one more of those, and then I'll take away that. We can make a tin ingot. What else do we need? Zinc. Zinc alchemical dust. We could probably get through these fairly quickly wheat which i don't have yet so i'll jump past zinc and we'll make silver what does silver need silver 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 requires sugar which we again don't have access to sugar requires uh sugar cane and a squeeze that we can actually use rice so once i get to the point that i can do rice that will definitely be uh something we'll be looking into so if i put that in there and hopefully Let's take these out. Uh, I'll smelt up some more sand to get some glass because I'm pretty sure we'll need some more glass fluid fairly soon, or crystal fluid. But until that happens, dink, we make some tin, we hold on to it, we finish the quest, we complete the quest, we get the loot chest, which will inevitably be something rather crap. A menril torch, okay. 
Tell me about a mineral torch. I can make a balloon with a mineral torch. I can also make a chaos rune. Oh, we're still making... Awesome. So tin gets us two per dust, which is very, very, very good. <clears throat> now, let's jump on to... Uh, let's do something a little bit different. We've got the tinker's stuff. Could make clay. Don't really want to right now, Master Chef. Well... Uh, I think our next step, actually, is to make a heck of a lot of dirt because we need to expand our little area. So we'll make some dirt. So I need heaps of that. How many saplings have I got? 57. Beautiful. I'll use all of these then. Make a whole heap more of this. The reason I made so much dust is because I'm going to just power on with the dirt. And that actually makes it fairly quickly. So I can just leave that. How much does it use? Mm, six plant matter per piece of dirt, which is quite a bit. Um, and I've lost my axe. We're at a bit of a slow going bit here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm liking shadow play. I can't see what the recording looks like. I, uh, I'm sure it should look pretty good, but I like with OBS, you get the preview window. And at the same time, I don't know how long I have been recording for either, which is something I really, really need. So, <clears throat> question is, what do we do? I'm going to finish off some quests on camera, I think, would be the way to go. Now, freezer, 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 freezer. I saw this before, I believe. Makes perfect sense. We make it out of snow blocks. In order to make snow blocks, we need snow balls. In order to make snow balls, we need to explode water bottles. Yep, made sense when I saw it. Uh, so we'll need, I think we get one snow block per explosion. Is that right? Yep, one single snow block per thing that we explode. So let's grab my sand, which is currently over here. Got seven dirt that way. That's much quicker than exploding it. We'll smelt up that, uh, and we will work on creating this freezer. So apparently, if I bring up this and we'll find the freezer. Mini freezer is the first tier of freezers. The other tier is the iron freezer. They freeze items into other items. The speed they freeze depends on how many items are in the freezer and the speed of the freezer. So the mini freezer runs at 0.25. The iron freezer is a multi-block, put one on the top of the other. Place the input items in the top, and the result will be in the bottom slot. So I believe... Use. Here we go. So we can make dirt by putting heavy snow. So four snowballs creates heavy snowball, four heavy snowballs. Yep. Uh, recipe. Recipe, yes. Uh, Uses the mini freezer. Um, yes, four snow, heavy snowballs creates a heavy snow, which then creates dirt, coarse dirt. Okay. But sandy netherrack creates soul sand. So coarse dirt. Uh, can we turn coarse dirt back to dirt? Now there's a question. Podzol, dirt chest. I suppose we could turn it into podzol, but that's a bit stupid. A dirt chest 9,000. Um, hmm. I was sure that there was a way to turn coarse dirt into regular dirt in this apparently not interesting coarse dirt clay industrial centrifuge okay so coarse dirt turns it into all of that uh we can get liquid dirt okay and then from liquid dirt we can fluid transpose so we can create dirt from coarse dirt okay i think i don't know um but at least we can get coarse dirt which is pretty okay I guess uh, probably this would be the quicker way to do it but so if we take this we've got nine of those let's make some bottles do, 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 and three more 12 bottles empty out my inventory I'm going to get some <clears throat> better inventory management going very very soon he says probably lying okay so, we need 400 heat units, which seems insane. Uh, so, let's... Running low on charcoal as well. I'm going to have to... There we go, tiny charcoal. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, we can do three of these at once. So, one, bottle, two, three. We can do that. Put that in there. Heat this up. We need 400. Uh, I've just realized this probably won't work, actually. Yep, we have to do one at a time. Wow. 
This is the life. This is the grind. 400. Bam. Pick you up. Come back up here. And we rinse and repeat. Right. <clears throat> Eight snowballs. That was the thoroughly dull experience. Eight snowballs makes two blocks of snow. Put them on top of each other. We get a mini freezer. So I believe, literally, we just place that down. And it's is the thing. Did I even complete that? No. I could... Are you kidding me? Well, we're not doing that again. That can go away. It's also one of the easiest ways to make dirt. It says that. It really says that. I don't agree. Uses for the mini freezer. I have to put in heavy snow in order to make dirt. Is that right? Is there any other way? Is there anything? I can make a frozen iron ingot. And what the hell is the use of a frozen iron ingot? Makes the iron freezer. Okay. Makes sense. And the frozen cooling component can make a steel condenser. Ah. And a steel combustion heater. We need a frozen iron cooling component. A heat and a coal to make the combustion heater. Interesting. Electrum. So what's the best? Speed 140, efficiency 170. Speed 241, so you could... Ah, okay. So, <clears throat> ah, I'm getting way, way ahead of myself. Right. I am going to call this episode done. I know it's short, and I know we achieved very little in the grand scheme of things. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and uh, grind like a crazy man. I'm going to grind a whole heap of stuff up. I'm going to make sure we've got some ore generation going on, and I'm going to come back... When we're at the point where we can actually like automate some of this stuff, I'd like to get ore generation automated. I'd like to get some better stuff in here. And we'll start prettifying this area because I'm getting sick of oak wood, as you can see. All right. So thanks very much, guys. Uh, don't say it often, but chuck a like on this episode if you are enjoying the Skyblock content. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm coming around to it. I'm coming around to it. I was actually ready to give up not that long ago. But I'm really feeling like I'm getting into the, the gist of it. And soon we can automate all of this, which would be fantastic. All right. Thanks very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.